hey what's up team so hey we're just making a video for mb so i just finished the one for jellyfin um so mb like um is a great alternative source player to plex for different reasons um so because you have the ability to install it may as well go ahead and try right so uh there's also an alternative open source to mb which is known as jellyfin um the only difference with that one is is that uh it's not restrictive and it doesn't require premium um it doesn't require a premium account for certain things, but there's no, you know, Jellyfin Apple TV app so you can connect to or uh, something you can play right on Android. So MB is probably the most logical route to go, but this is all both. Check them out, look at the history and see what you do. For example, if you use your browser only, Jellyfin's a great alternative. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and install MB. So right now it's under the core app suit. So we're gonna go ahead and bring that up in and install that. Um, MB is pretty, Again, pretty simple to set up. At first, I was a little confused by it because, like I said, the longer you use Plex, when you go to something new, it can just seem kind of overwhelming, but in reality, it isn't. Uh, the good thing is MB has changed quite a bit. So the last time I really looked at them was like maybe like eight months ago. And then bringing it up, I was like, holy crap, I'm actually impressed with the amount of features that it has. So, um, yeah, this, this will definitely be a great step for you. Come on, load, load, load. Okay, there we go. And there we go. So let's go ahead and see if we can connect. Awesome. So one thing I noticed about doing a wiki, uh, doing them between both, <laughs> I actually like Jellyfin's darker mode instead of the light mode. But um, I noticed that in, in this one, you can um, invite users, whereas in Jellyfin, you can't. So that is one downside. Uh, really? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. So over here, you would put your username so you can call yourself whatever. So you can call yourself MB Admin, whatever you like, or MB, you know, John. <laughs> That's not my name, but whatever, right? And you can link your uh, MB account. So if you do have one, and if, you know, uh, an MB Connect account, I would do that because it makes it easier to sign in and link for security along with the features. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit next. So right here, you can add your libraries later if you want, but here you can already start adding them in the process. To add them is pretty simple. You can basically type what you want to put in. So the important thing about the wiki is, is that it gives you these two as pretty much prime examples. I always recommend people just slap everything into these two folders. Why? Because you're going to end up with so many TV shows and movies in most cases that you're going to search for the content. So I know people who break it down by like 25,000 different versions. It's, I learned over time, the more content you get, the worse it gets when you try to segregate it like that. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. And again, you can have a different folder, but make sure it exists too prior to deploying. If not, you're gonna to have to reboot your server. Okay, a um, little lost here, here we go. So TV shows, folders, and there you go. Now you can search for it too by, by digging in. So, but this is the address that I'm using. So it's pretty simple. So go ahead, okay. And like Plex, it does take a long time to scan. But Plex gives you more instantaneous, you know, instantaneous feedback. With uh, with MB or Jellyfin, I recommend you just walk away um, and, and come back to your server a few hours later after it's done scanning. Even when it's not done scanning, just leave it alone. So again, it just depends on which content you have. Um, one thing I put in the wiki was a warning: never turn this on. This will tax your server. So because it will, you see how it says generate chapter images. So it will eat away at your processing, and you gotta remember this is off your Google Drive, so you're gonna increase your API calls. So it's highly not recommended to do this. Leave that off. Um, go ahead and hit okay. And I'm actually impressed by the amount of features that Jellyfin and MB have both added. So we're gonna do movies. And again, you should only have to set this up, name it whatever you want. If you, um, you should only set this up if you have those, uh, you know, if you're doing movies or TV shows. Okay, so we enter that in. Same thing there, do not check that, hit okay. And then hit next, and next. And here, if you're, if you're using this at home, you can uncheck this for security purposes. Um, enable port mapping, I leave this normally on, but you can turn it off because some people, you know, security. If you don't know what you're doing, just leave it on. So Jellyfin does not have this right here. 
and Jellyfin does not have all these apps you can access it through. So <laughs> it's good and bad, right? So now I'm in my server. So you can see it's already starting to scan, which is good. But again, this is misleading. So again, like, like I said, just let it scan. Okay, um, one thing that confused me about coming from Plex is that in Plex you're just used to going to settings and you're in your uh, kind of like, your, yeah, your dashboard there. So you're like, oh, I wanna play my shows. And you're like, uh, library. And then you're like, oh wait, I can't play anything. So this is, so anytime you're in your dashboard, I mean not your dashboard, but anytime, yeah, anytime you're here, this is pretty much like your settings thing. So when you wanna see your stuff, you see a little house number corner right there, that's what you click. And you see it's already starting to add stuff. But again, I would just leave it alone. Oh, that's a pretty good Walking Dead cover. <laughs> good show. So, um, let's look here. So, server dashboard. And then go to, so if you want to add additional users, now with Jellyfin, you cannot invite users. With this one, um, like again, you can use either or, but again, with Jellyfin, you can't do this. So you can add the user. So if you add the user, you can add their name. And one important thing, let's see, call it beta tests. Probably don't want them to manage your server. You can give them certain access to certain libraries. Hit save. But what you want to do is, uh, you know, scroll through your options here. What do you What do you want this user to be able to do? So, um, and then make sure for that user too, you also create a uh, oh, sweet, oh pin code. Okay, so Jellyfin has password. I wonder how this works. Enable network sign up with my easy pin code. Okay, sweet. So there you go. So some pretty cool options. So Envy does actually have a good amount of features for the user. So I would definitely check that out for you. There's the Envy Premiere if you want to set that up. So make sure you put in your key. Transcoding. Um, we're going to have some more options in the wiki later about this. So right now I wouldn't really mess with it. Um, but other than that, everything's kind of self kind of explanatory. The key thing is being able to enable your stuff in order for you to watch it. But other than that, you know, you can go through and just say, I want this, I want it to do that. Um, you know, do you want to turn your DLI off or on? You know, do you want it to upload your pictures? Um, so yeah, a lot of great features. I would I would definitely check them out if I were you. Also again, just refer back to this wiki to help you out if you have questions on how to access it. Um, trying to think what else, I think that's pretty much it. So other than that, if you have the ability to, um, you know, like say join, join our site, uh, donate, uh, help other members. A again, this is all a group community project thing. But other than that, I appreciate your time. Have a good one.